COVID-19 has disrupted so many lives and the lives of people's pets as well. So all these people have had to give up their loving pets just because of financial reasons. We're giving them an opportunity to hopefully find out who adopted them and that they're happily ever after. That's Constance Beckaback. She's created a website called Pet Parents Place to connect past and present pet owners. It all started when she adopted a wonderful dog. She named him Beamer, and she wanted to let the past owner know that he'd found a good home and that he was loved. And so, see, I went online and I started Googling, you know, find a dog, find the owner, and there was nothing. I'm like, this isn't right. You know, there's too many people that have to give up their pets and, and they deserve the right to know that their pet's happy. You know, that's the least we can give them. Okay. And since there was not, there was no other source of finding out where your pet went and what happened to them, I decided that I needed to do that. And that's just what she did. To find the site, type petparentsplace.com. That's without an apostrophe. So I adopt a pet. What's the next step uh, if I want to use your site? So it's very simple, Steve, and we did that intentionally. Um, so you're the owner. You just go onto the website and you register. And all that's required is your first name and your email address. It's free. It always will be free because we don't want to stop anybody from using it. Put as much information as you have on your pet. Where was he adopted from? Um, you, where is he now? Photos, whatever you have. It, so it, it's saying, hey, these might be close. Does this right. look like your dog? Is that really what it comes down to in the end? Exactly. Okay. And then they can connect anonymously with each other. Right. And, and that's a really important part of our whole database is we only collect the first name of a, someone that registers, a user, and their email address, and that's it. Pet owners don't have to worry about somebody coming to get the pet or anything else. It's just we, we did that intentionally so that everyone's protected. Have you had any matches? We're still working on that, Steve. The, the database, as it is, hasn't been up very long. But luckily, because of people like you, we have more than 1,000 users. And the site isn't just for dogs. Dogs and cats and birds and horses. So we, we try to make it a wide range because people fall in love with their birds that live to be 50 years old. What else might I find on the site? It's not just a lost and found. Exactly. We have extensive blogs. It's going to give you ideas on how to travel with your pet, how to get rid of pet anxiety, how to deal with grief. Remember Beamer, the dog Constance adopted? It was her quest to find its previous owner that led to the creation of Pet Parents Place. Turns out the owner had been forced to move to a retirement home that didn't accept dogs. If you've adopted a pet or lost one, give Pet Parents Place a try. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.